We now have here at my eye clinic a myopia control clinic. This is aimed at young children, as young as three or, or, or at that sort of age, who are becoming myopic. And the process, the treatment is to try and stop the progression. Um, so that someone who may be on course to become minus six may actually stop at minus two. Clearly that's better. We use atropine 0.01%. We use uh, my eyesight type contact lenses, the multifocal contact lenses. We give advice on um, lifestyle, uh, close work, regulation and so on. And um, the, the, that to try and help uh, utilize our current knowledge to try and reduce the rate of progression of myopia in these young children. We just finalized the details of the myopia clinic. We've got stocks of atropine involved and we already have had quite a few inquiries wanting to book a clinic. The myopia control with atropine, uh, lot, most of this work has come from Singapore and a really good, really good scientific approach. They treated a, a cohort of children who are myopic for two years with several different strengths of, of atropine. And they found that the 0.01% was equally effective but had less side effects. Then they stopped treatment and monitored them for two year, more years. So two years on treatment, two years off treatment. In the two years off treatment, the myopia accelerated again. And then they put another cohort again back on uh, for two more years and found that it stopped. So currently it looks like these children need to be on atropine for a very long time, probably in, from, from the diagnosis of myopia until early 20s. 1% atropine will give you a fixed dilated pupil for a week and you will spend that week trying to strangle the doctor who put it in. Um, the lower doses have almost no effect, no perceptible effect on blur. Patients don't report blurring with 0.01% and they don't have any stinging or any, and certainly none of the um, psychological effects that you can get with atropine. We, we know atropine can, in high doses can induce a psychosis. That has never been seen in any of the children on 0.01%. The consequences of atropine seem to be almost zero. So if, you, if, you're, if you're a person and you say, do you want to use atropine 0.01% every day of your life from age 8 to 22 and wind up being minus 2 as opposed to minus 8, I think most people say, I'll have the atropine then please.